And then? Look, nobody looks cool riding a Segway. Okay, except this guy. Like, this guy looks cool. But for the rest of us, you know, we all kind of look like Nick on a Segway. And let me just tell you, that's not cool at all. But what if that Segway came with a go-kart? This is the 9-bot go-kart pro. Let's take a look. So I mean, as you can tell by the box, this uh, this bo <laughs> this particular device device has gone through quite a bit of a journey. It's a unit from China, um, so you know it's not in English. All the menus and stuff are all in Chinese. Like even the top of the box, like you can see, it's all just Chinese words, which I cannot read. I know banana. But we are going to unbox it because it looks quite epic, and I honestly have never unboxed a go kart before. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Oh. So this is a go-kart, uh, as you can see the inside of the box is uh, not in great shape either. Anyway, you've got like lots of tiny boxes. Um, this is the box full of accessories. So once again, this is the 9-bot go-kart pro and if you're familiar with the 9-bot um, you know, they're, they're like this series of hoverboards. I don't know if you call them hoverboards, you still call them hoverboards, I guess. But they're like a, like a Segway, lah, right? Um, so they actually have like a go-kart kit that uses the, the main sort of 9-bot machine to power like a go-kart experience. So this is like that, but this is the pro version. So pro version means you get a spoiler. Um, so here is the box full of all the accessories. Um, what you have is, first of all, you have this, which is the seat for the 9-bot uh, device when you want to use it not as a go-kart, which I feel like will be most of the time. And then you have a charging brick, cables, some instructions, which are in Chinese. What? <laughs> What is this? Um, but you also have, oh, another one. Oh, right and left. I guess they go on to the go-kart. Um, then you have this, which is all the tools and some AA batteries. Finally, you have the Bluetooth speaker. So you might be wondering like, why would I need a Bluetooth speaker for a go-kart? Well, this is an electric go-kart. If you're familiar with electric vehicles, they don't make any sound. Like it's just road noise, it's awful. So what this is, is a speaker that will play you sound. Oh. <laughs> so this guy, you can hook it up to, I think like the underside or somewhere, I don't know. Um, and then you can tune it to the go-kart and then have it play like engine sounds, like a V8 engine sound, a V12 engine sound that looks like a motorbike engine, that looks like not even an engine, it actually looks more like a blender. So there you go, a bit of futuristic tech for you. Um, but those are the accessories. Now let's take a look at the cart. So we have some foam to hold the cart in place. Okay, so if you come over, uh, you can take a look at the engine, the, the engine. <laughs> So, um, as you can see, this part, this part underneath here, this is actually like a, a 9 bot Mini. So, this is the main thing that powers the rest of the go-kart. It gives you power, it's, so it's like a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, it's held on by these straps, and the whole chassis sort of sits on it. So, then you use it to power. Um, this is very similar to actually the previous go-kart kit that they had. Only thing is, now it's in black. So, uh, the power output here, Apparently, it has the same kind of performance as a, a motor vehicle with a 150cc engine. So I think that's like a like a cup chai, right, Anip? Yeah. So it's like a it's like a cup chai, which should be quite interesting because this doesn't weigh a lot. I think it's like what 40, 50 kilos. That is like one Zachary Young, <laughs> which is like nothing. It has a top speed of 37 kilometers per hour which again doesn't sound very fast. Like, I feel like I could run 37. Do you think I could run 37 km per hour? <laughs> I think so. So apparently this is also able to, to drift, which, I mean, come on. If it has a drift mode, I forgot to eat my cereal today. So I'm just gonna roll it out. So there's the plastic that wraps the thing. 
hold on there, and you. I'm gonna go. Ah! Oh, shit. Hey. <sighs> Let's get the box out of the way. This is the go kart. <laughs> it looks. It actually looks awesome. Look at it. It has. It has. It has semi slicks. I think that's what you call it. Um, it also has, you know, a, a non round, a square racing wheel with the little bit here that you use to center your field of view so that you know your tires are straight. It also has, what is this, a handbrake? Oh no, it's not a handbrake, it's just brakes, I guess? No, it's a handbrake. Yeah, it's a handbrake. It's a very manual handbrake. You've got racing harness. <laughs> racing harness. In very nice racing green. And yeah, so it does take a little bit of assembly because as you can see, it's like kind of loose. Wait, where are the instructions? Oh, step one. Okay, we need to lock this in place. So how long am I going to be? Oh, it's the microphone. Yeah, this seems fine. Step one is we need to secure this. So A is, okay, B is, C is... Right, so I need to look for the Allen key. Oh, sh**. Oh, no, wait. Is there already a screw inside? Yeah, I need some translation. Trans so this is What? How does this even work? I've uh, called in some backup. Cannot be so... Loose, right? Yeah, it's a bit Oh, you d Okay, let's try this one. It's a big one. <laughs> oh, yo! We've been using the wrong Allen key the whole time. Ah! <laughs> so, I listen to your mother stay in school, study Chinese. <laughs> oh, shit, is it too short? Uh? Let me try first, let me try first. Ah. Feels okay. Alright, next. Number two. Oh, exciting part, we're attaching the spoiler. Uh, eh. I need the two wing things just now. Wing thing. Ah, yeah, there we go. Boom. Right? I think so. Oh yes! Then oh, <laughs> I can feel the airflow already. Step number three. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's part of step one. A, move up. B, grab. I saw it, I saw it. Ah, oh, let's see. There we go. Oh. Quite badass, huh? I think maximum height, right? Maximum height. Uh. D. Oh. <laughs> I guess. And then, put batteries inside. So we go one, three. Whoop. I think so. Hey. <sighs> Next step. Step three, download the APP. Oh, then step four, wear helmet idea. Oh, speaker, speaker. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my god, speakers are so fancy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the good news is, I actually pre-downloaded the app in anticipation on the thing. Step one, download the app, app, download already. Press and hold, uh. Press and hold to uh, pen. Oh! 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 Got light or not? Wow! Alrighty! Where is my 9-bot app? 9-bot app? 9-bot app. Oh! Oh! Wow! Safe mode, new rider mode, sports mode. Sports mode. Not qualified to unlock. Unlock this speed mode after riding 1km. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. 
Let's see if he can move us. You squeeze this and then pull. <laughs> and then? Hey! <laughs> Let me read. Oh! Start Bluetooth pairing. Oh! What did you do? No battery. Hey, do I chung? Bluetooth pairing completed. Wow! How do you do that? Got delay. <laughs> should we? Should we? Do you, do you think we should go to the to the car park? Yeah, I think we should. Let's go. Away. What I didn't realize at the time was that I actually paired the wrong device to the app. I mistakenly paired the 9 baht Mini instead of pairing the GoCut Pro itself, which is why we needed to spend so much time in the beginner mode. Still, this was a good opportunity to get a feel of how the cart handled because the steering input is super direct and responsive, and despite basically being a 9 baht Mini with a different case, it felt a lot like a proper GoCut. But eventually... Oh! Congratulations on obtaining the highest speed! Experience the joy of speed in a safe venue. Well, I have just the place. Hey, Rory here. Thanks for watching that video. Uh, that was part one of a two-part series where we take a look at the 9BOT GoCart Pro. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for part two where we actually you know, test and drift this cart at the brand new um, Blastercast track at Gamuda Cove. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that video because it's awesome because we put it you know, against like actual drift carts and we've got like a drift master to drift around. You know, like, a lot of drifting. Like, okay? So definitely stay Stay tuned for that video because it's going to be awesome. Um, but if you like this video, you know, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell icon and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye bye. Current mode selected. Oi, 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 oi. Oh my god, it's so fast!